Hi everyone, Cheeky Tam here and welcome to another taste test. Today, thanks to John, I'm going to be doing another American taste test. So let's get started. First up, I'm going to try an ice cream sandwich. This one really excites me. It's from Mountain House and it's a vanilla flavored ice cream sandwich. It's freeze dry. Isn't that fascinating? It's so light and airy. It feels a little bit broken in here. Vanilla flavored ice cream between two chocolate flavored wafers. Oh! <gasps> Now, unfortunately, I won't be able to get it out in one because it's broken. Oh, no, maybe I can't. Oh, it's not broken. It's not broken at all. Oh, yeah, it is broken. <laughs> Luckily, it came in this paper here. Now, uh, I'm trying to do this nicely because I want you to try and see what it looks like as one. Yes. Oh. Wow, it's all flaking apart. It's very flaky. How cool is that? It does look like an ice cream sandwich. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh yeah, mmm. It tastes like powdered milk and chocolate and vanilla. That's some astronaut freeze driesness goodness. <laughs> Suddenly I couldn't talk. It tastes a little bit like powdered milk. And my mum used to have powdered milk in the cupboard. And because there were never many treats in the house, I used to sneak a spoonful of powdered milk. Mmm, delicious. And this is what it reminds me of. And it's really yummy. See, this is what happens when you come from a household where there was always diet food. <laughs> always looking for something to eat in the cupboard. This is really quite tasty. And it's a lot of fun to eat because it just crumbles and shatters apart when you eat it. And the crunch on it. Mm, it's really satisfying and I like that they've gotten that top bit there to look like a cookie a biscuit mm. Mm -hmm. yeah that one was fun this is from Tepatico and it is salsa picante mixed nuts peanuts cashews and almonds with a Tepatico flavored seasoning oh yeah it's mild by the way just a mild flavor looks like a nice mixture doesn't it it says on the back here there is only one Tepatico flavor and it hasn't changed since 1971 oh there are my glasses hang on oh really. Jose Luis Saavedra, an immigrant from Mexico, created Tapatico hot sauce. Oh, right. And it remains a family business. How nice is that? Wow. Have a look. Beautiful. It does look like the picture on the front, which is great. That's always satisfying and a good sign, isn't it? All right. I, I got to make sure I get all of the nuts in here because I don't want to miss out on any of the nuts. There you go. Your selection of three nuts in there, your cashews, your almonds and your peanuts. Mmm, 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 yum, yum, mmm. There's a nice level of spice in here. They're not very hot. They are mild. I think that it would be interesting to try the medium and the hot ones to see just how hot they are. The spices in there is a bit of paprika. There's salt. There's garlic. I don't know what else is in there. It's a really nice amount of salt in there, which I'm happy about. And the spice mixture is just right. It's a nice amount of bits of everything. And I love the different nuts in there. The cashews are good. The almonds are good. The peanuts are good. Very, very tasty. I like these and I would eat these again. I wish I had them here. Delicious. You know what? I'm going to move on to some more nuts. Why not? Planters heat peanuts. And there's Mr. Peanut there. <laughs> Creepy as ever. Oh, what's he Good happening now. Oh, he's, I thought he had a weird tie coming out, but it's a chili. Of course it is. Why would it be a weird tie? I thought he might have changed his outfit or something. Did he used to be naked, Mr. Peanut? Can't remember. Heat peanuts. Don't know how hot they're going to be. 13% protein. Oh, gosh, that was scary, wasn't it? There they are. Do they look hot? I'm a little bit scared of these ones for some reason. Let's try them. Mmm. Oh, they're not too hot. No, they're nice. Mmm. Beautiful peanuts. Mmm. Nice amount of salt. Nice bit of chili in there. You know what's interesting though? These ones say heat peanut and they're not as hot as the mild version of this topatic. Oh no, maybe they are. <laughs> okay, it's slowly sneaking up on me now. But they're not extremely hot. So if you're worried about them like I was and I'm a little bit of a wuss. No. 
they're nice they're not going to hurt you you know you're not going to feel in pain when you eat them and that's always a good thing a nice amount of flavor nice amount of salt in them peanuts are really good yum time for hissy and buffy to get involved in the taste test and today i have an evolve grain-free recipe super premium food for cats turkey stew with vegetable and gravy now this is very interesting that they put vegetables in cat food because my cats don't eat vegetables i don't really know if it's recommended that you give your cats vegetables they're carnivores carnivores all the way but let's try them on this they're actually sleeping just outside here now i'm just going to open it up here and hopefully not get all over myself gosh cat food stinks doesn't it plonk it in a bowl for them oh yum i know you're all going oh there's carrots in here like really obvious carrots i wonder if they're gonna eat around the carrots okay it's got a lot of gravy in there and big chunks of turkey stuff which looks like turkey loaf mm. let's see if they like it hey girls want to try some yummy food john got it for you it's all the way from america and it's turkey you don't oh she's licking her lips i don't know if hissy's going to be interested at all we never know with hissy so where are we going to put this would you like to try it all right oh straight into it that is a success you're gonna eat your carrot like a good girl she's really into the gravy part of it try some turkey you're not you're not doing this taste test thing right try some turkey no okay can i just sorry i just want to take this off here for a second buffy i want to see if hissy likes it oh that's fantastic two out of two you eating that oh no oh you're hopeless hissy no it's a no from hissy she smelt it she licked it and then she left it hissy disappointing sweetheart potato chips i have not seen this brand before it's from cape cod kettle cooked potato chips sweet and spicy jalapeno flavor yum doesn't that look beautiful they look very gourmet and special cape cod i have heard of it before is that like a touristy place that people go to and rich people live there sweet and spicy jalapeno chips start with the same hearty satisfying crunch that cape cod chips are famous for they're famous for them have a look they do look like kettle cooked chips you can see them they're extra crunchy mmm sweet and spicy oi 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 mmm oh oh they're really good mmm super crunchy salty and they've got a bit of spice in there from that jalapeno wow but I like it a lot. Mm. I can't taste a lot of sweetness in it. It's mainly just heat. A lot of heat from that jalapeno. Mm. Another amazing American potato chip. Seriously, why are American potato chips so good? They're super, super crunchy. They're packed full of flavor. Nice amount of salt in there. Really delicious. I love them. Time for beverage break. And today I have Lando Lakes Cocoa again. Yes. And this flavor is French vanilla. Now, isn't it amazing how you say French vanilla and suddenly it sounds a lot more fancy than just vanilla. It's French vanilla. Two big blobs of ice cream on the front there to tempt me and a couple of vanilla pods. Oh, a little foof of powder came out and it smelled delicious. Oh, yay it's not white it's just got a french vanilla flavor in there why would it be white it doesn't say white chocolate the milk sort of chocolate and it does smell like vanilla mm -hmm. oh it smells absolutely delicious i love lando lakes hot cocoa hello i'm gonna leave the spoon in there today because i love that chance of it coming around and going boom and bonking me in the eye cheers Oh, that's lovely. Mmm. Just the right amount of French vanilla in there, and it goes beautifully with the chocolate. Chocolate and vanilla are just such a perfect match, and they've done the balance of the flavor really well in this one. A delicious hot cocoa. I really love the flavor of this one. Our hot cocoa here is nowhere near as good as the American hot cocoa. It really isn't, and I don't know what magic or what you're doing differently there. Here's my theory, right? And it's going to probably be really weird and wrong. My theory is because you have a lot more colder weather over there and longer winters and snow and stuff like that, you just 
get the hot chocolate right. I've seen holiday Christmas movies in America and you're all running around the snow and having hot cocoa and living the best life ever. Here we're just, we're really hot. <laughs> really love it. Mm. Time to try something out of a can. And this is Le Sir Sweet Peas. Very young, small. They're really stressing the point that they're tiny, so I'm not sure how tiny tiny is. Oh no, I need a can opener, don't I? I thought it was one of those things. It's very rare that you actually have to use a good old-fashioned can opener these days, isn't it? Let's put this in a bowl and get a look at it, and I'll heat them up and try it. Random thing to try, I know, but John has sent these, so I'm not sure if they're going to be super, super sweet. We get sweet peas here, like frozen sweet peas, but they're not that sweet. They're just called sweet peas. So are sweet peas going to be sweet? What a ridiculous question. And soon we'll have the answer. So let's open these up and I'm going to show you some peas, all right? Let me show you my peas. <laughs> you don't need to see this bit. It's just me struggling with a can opener. No one wants to see that. <sighs> oi, oi. That's so dramatic. Oh, yeah, you don't know. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Wow, I don't even know how I'm going to do this. They are swimming in here, swimming in a liquid. And I'm going to put these in a plate. Ready? Oh, look at that. Has anyone seen The Exorcist? Hey, they smell like asparagus. I've actually never had peas in a can. I've had them from the freezer and from the garden, but this is just a whole new animal to me. It's, oh, she's... <laughs> there they are everyone there are my little sweet peas see and they're not as vibrantly green as the ones that you get out of the freezer so i don't know anyway so i'm gonna heat them up and i'm gonna try it so this is the part where you're supposed to see me eating some peas but unfortunately i deleted that footage i don't know if i just didn't hit record or i didn't i don't know what i did i really don't it doesn't happen very often but it does happen because we're all human um, i stuffed up <laughs> But what did I think of the peas? Well, I wasn't a fan. They were very liquidy. I strained them out. And they even had like a little bit of a mm, vinegary taste. And they kind of looked a little bit like vampire peas. And not really that sweet. And the texture was very, very mushy. Not like normal peas. I really reckon you just go and get frozen peas from the supermarket. Best way to have them rather than have them in a can. They were just... They weren't really for me. Thank you so much, John, for sending me all of these things. I really do appreciate it. And if everyone in the comments below could please thank John, because without him, this taste test would not be possible. Have a fantastic week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.